Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some uh, more Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker. And uh, today I'm using Mitsuki, the, uh, the son of Orochimaru. And uh, first I just want to say that's awesome that in Baruto they uh, gave Orochimaru some kind of son. You know, some kind of junior figure that's also used in snakes as well. It's pretty cool, I like that. And uh, today, just like you saw in the thumbnail, we have uh, Mitsuki versus Naruto and Minato. I took on both of them, and then uh, somehow I, I was putting the slaps on those hoes. I was really taking them on. And just surviving with the... Just based off the way I move and the timing of my jutsu is just the whole reason I was surviving through it. And uh, we're going to get to it in a second. Uh, when I first made this video is when the uh, Minato reanimation DLC first came out. So that's where you're seeing those big red orbs. That was like one of his new powers. But yeah, this is like one of my first times using Mitsuki. I just wanted to showcase it. Because I did like it a lot. I do like his jutsus with like his Mr. Fantastic stretching. Just slapping the shit out of fools. It's really got some good long distance too on it. So I take on Naruto, we go down this little alley, and I say, what's up, y'all? Y'all want to scrap? Shit, let's go. So I start taking on both these boys at the same time. You know, they're, they're hitting me a little bit, I'm hitting them. I get out of it. Slap them. Give them that big slap. Give him that big slap. And I survived both of them. It's a really good match. Just taking on both of them with just sheer slaps alone. Like, you're like, oh, you took on Naruto and Minato? What jutsu did you use? Jutsu? Man, I hit him with the slaps. Like, boy, better act right. And then he comes back, you know, he gets revived, and he comes and kills me when he gets revived. But shit, they couldn't touch me just a second ago. I swear to God, boy. I swear to God, boy. So I come back, and I go into sage mode. And Sage Mode in Shinobi Striker is basically like, um, you get extra speed, you get super speed, super strength, uh, you get super recovery. And I think one other thing, I'm not sure, but everything gets enhanced. You start running faster. The running faster part is definitely, I think, in my opinion, the cooler part. But the super strength definitely adds to it. It's almost like going Super Saiyan. And uh, some people don't like it because you don't really get any added on powers and it's not like an instant kill. But it's a lot of like doing shit yourself in Sage mode. You guys are going to see it here in a second. It's like going, yeah, like going Super Saiyan basically. I said, ah. You guys are going to see how fast he runs now that he has it. See that? That's definitely a little quicker than normal. And I'm putting more damage on him than normal. And I guess it doesn't last long, but it's cool while it lasts. People see you get into stage mode and they start running away. They get scared when they see that. They try to avoid you. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Naruto games of all time. Look at that! Ooh, got him so good with that crush hand. Damn, that was nice. That was sweet. He got him with that hand like that. That was so dope. That was the first time I seen that jutsu too. But yeah, this is just another one of my uh, best gameplay moments that I recorded that I wanted to show for you guys. Look at that. Got him. And uh, like I always say, I have many more gameplay moments to show you guys. You know, basically a lot of what I post is just all my best gameplay moments. And uh, every time I've played video games in the past, I've always just tried to make it look as cool as possible for you guys. Because I know I'm going to be recording it and showing it on YouTube in the future. So 
a lot of times going into these games, it's uh, it's with the intent to make it look cool. So, but you know, a lot of times random shit happens too. I've I've had uh encountered a lot of random glitches that I recorded that you guys are gonna see when I post them in the future. But I think for now we're gonna be doing a lot of Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker because uh, I'm just so fixed on Shinobi Striker right now. Yeah, I definitely wanted to show you guys that battle one more time. We went down that alley. I said, what's up? Y'all want to scrap? Y'all can come down this alley right here? Shit, like, I keep it real. <laughs> like, I keep it real as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people kept it, like, fake as fuck with me, and I don't fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, people got to keep it real. Like, you can keep it as real as possible, but some people just not going to appreciate it. That's just what it is. Shit. I learned that the hard way. Like, I kept it real with somebody one time, and they was fake as fuck. They didn't appreciate it, so I had to bounce. That's all you can do sometimes, is just bounce. Sometimes a pimp got too much to lose, you know what I'm saying? Just bounce out. But yeah, this is it. This is me slapping them fools, putting the slaps on the hose. They're probably getting so pissed when I just stood up and started slapping the shit out of them. Look at that slap. Give him a nice slap. Get a nice little escape. Boom. Boom. You don't know what to do. Long distance slaps. Alright guys, but uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be posting more of my best gameplay moments. Especially when it comes to Shinobi Strikers. I've got a lot to show you guys. Uh, this was my first time using Mitsuki, and I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Even though he didn't have any crazy superpowers, I loved just slapping fools. I really did. And if you did too, definitely leave a like, and I'm out. Peace.